Today, folks, Lao Shu here, the mouse. Hope you guys are doing well today. I'm doing great. Trying to enjoy this um, snowy weather here. Uh, we got our first bit of snow last night, to be exact. And, um, yeah, I'm, I'm not really a big fan of this type of weather. I don't fancy the snow, although I grew up here. But, um, anyway... <laughs> The, the 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 video today as you guys see the title um, this this is basically going to be a response to that question of the week video I made last week uh, regarding what music and was it music and movies using music and movies to learn a particular language now let's get into it basically this is how I look at it it all boils down to motivation. All right, this is the bottom line. <clears throat> With motivation, you can maintain persistence, interest, and in anything that you do. Uh, without motivation, uh, it's just not going to happen. You can't possibly have a drive without this motivation uh, to keep to continue your studies. So I feel that if you're motivated, um, if learning languages through music and uh, movies uh, motivate you, then continue on with it. Because, like I said, that's that's what's going to keep you going. So it all depends on the person's motivation. All right. Now, for me, in my experience, I I haven't really it, it didn't really occur to me to use uh, these particular resources to learn a language. However, I do have some experiences using these things, but out of the intention of learning a language. And I would like to share a story with you guys, if you don't mind. So basically, um. I'm gonna start with the movies. Basically, uh, what happened was um, this was back in 2000, I believe. It was this was like a year. Yeah, I was like a little over a year of studying Chinese, and I um, I had a buddy. Uh, we used to hang out like very often. We went out to clubs. We, we went to a lot of places. And one day he invited me over to his place. His family owns a Chinese restaurant, and I went over to his place one day, and his uncles were there. They couldn't speak English. And um, basically, because he, like my friend, couldn't speak Mandarin. Like they spoke a different dialect in Fujian. So he introduced me to his, uh, he showed me, he said, oh, yeah, these are my uncles. So I just spoke to them in Chinese. I was able to speak at that time uh, comfortably to have some conversation with them. So, you know, we had a conversation. They were happy, surprised. So um, what happened was they showed me a lot of these movies they had. They had a whole bunch of Chinese movies. And they gave me one. Um that movie, the name of that movie was Ying Xiong Bansa. Uh, Ying, Ying Xiong Bansa. It's called Hero. I think I talked about this movie before. Um, I think I did. I can't remember what video it was. But if you guys are interested, I'll post a link uh, in the description to that video where you guys go check it out. Basically, it, it's a very popular movie starring Chow Yun Fat. Very, very good movie. Um, I watched it like a million times. Like, probably more than a million times. I watched that movie so many times. And as I said before, I didn't watch it, like, in the intent of learning, like, to improve my Chinese or whatever. I just watched it out of curiosity because it was a gift. They gave it to me. So I said, you know what? Let me watch this movie. And I watched it. I enjoyed it. And when I was watching it, I didn't, I just watched the movie uh, without subtitles. I didn't, even, I didn't even really pay attention to the subtitles. I just watched it. And I enjoyed it, you know. Um, I could understand everything like 100%. I understood a lot, but um, it was very enjoyable to me. So um, that was my experience using movies. Now, the funniest thing about it is at that time when I watched the movie, I watched it so many times that I picked up a lot of um, I picked up a lot of vocabulary in certain situations, and I also learned a Taiwanese song, which I didn't even. No, it was Taiwanese. I had no idea it was Taiwanese. Um, I didn't know it was Taiwanese until I met my wife. Um, we watched the movie together one time. I, I took it over to her place. We watched it. And that part when the Taiwanese song came on, I just started singing it. I mean, it was just, it was like osmosis because I watched the movie so many times. I just I picked up the lyrics and everything. Um, I, I didn't understand what they were saying, but you know, I knew the lyrics, but, um, I started singing that song. Once I started singing it in that particular part, she busted out laughing, like really, really hard. And I was like, why? And I was thinking like, I thought it was strange. Like, why is, what's so funny? Why are you laughing? And then she said, do you know what? She said, do you know that's a Taiwanese song? 
And then I, I started laughing and said, no, I had no idea it was a Taiwanese song, but it was a Taiwanese song. It was so funny. But <clears throat> like I said, it was just all from osmosis. I didn't learn it just say, oh, I'm going to learn this cool Taiwanese song because I had no idea it was Taiwanese. It did. So I, I knew now I knew it was a different dialect because I was already familiar with the way Mandarin sound. And I can understand a lot of the Mandarin. So when I heard that song, it didn't sound Mandarin to me. I said, this must be a different dialect, but I had no idea what dialect it was. So that was very interesting. Now with the music, I started I started listening to music after I met my wife because she would listen to Chinese music like all the time in a car. And, I mean, it was just, and again, osmosis. And I, it just grew on me. And there were certain songs that I was really curious about knowing the name of, the, the author. And I would ask her, and she told me. So I got the um, the song, put it on my, my iPad or my I, iPhone. And I listened to it over and over and over again. Then I ended up getting the lyrics. So um, those are my experiences utilizing such supplements. And um, I, I would say that they're, I would say that they're effective. They can be effective if you really um, try to incorporate them in your language studies. Now it's very inspiring to a uh, wife. She, because she knows a lot of Japanese and Korean, and she learned. A lot from because she likes to watch dramas and she likes the music and she likes excuse me she likes to get the lyrics and what have you but um she learned a lot by doing that and it's very inspiring because like wow you learned because I, I saw she learned so much you know so like this really um, encouraged me to to get into more of the music and watching movies you know so this is definitely something that I would like to incorporate in my game my language learning game and um yeah, I plan to do that soon. Now, I'm going to give you some suggestions, and basically I'm going to go based off of what I would do as a beginner or, you know, in my own shoes. So for movies, basically, as I mentioned before, I would just watch the movie over and over and over again. Find a movie, watch it over and over again. Um, shoot, definitely you want to choose a genre that you really like, not something random. Um, find a find a uh, something close to the genre you like. Watch that movie over and over again and just kind of relax. Relax and just listen to the language. Get used to the sound, the cadence, you know, the accent, all that stuff. Because that's basically what I would do as a beginner. I would do that and then worry later on as I become comfortable, more comfortable with the language, I'll start to understand vocabulary. Then I'll turn the subtitles on and be able to follow along more. Now, Regarding subtitles, as a beginner, you may want to, if you just want to relax and listen to, listen to the sound of the language, don't even cut them on. Because if, first of all, if you turn on the English subtitles, you want to be so busy paying attention to the subtitles, trying to understand what's going on, that you're not going to have any attention on listening to the sounds of the language, the cadence. You know, you, you, you're not going to be in that state because you're going to be distracted. So I would just turn off those subtitles. I wouldn't worry about them as a beginner. I mean... Even if you did turn and then like with the other, like let's say Chinese in this case, even if you did turn on the Chinese subtitles, you wouldn't have no, you you wouldn't have any idea what's going on anyway because you, you don't have an adequate vocabulary bank to deal with it. So either way you go, you won't be able to understand. So the best thing to do as a beginner is just listen to the link, listen to it and you know, just relax. Um as far as music, I would do the same. The only thing is, after listening to it so many times, I will get the lyrics. And then once I go through the lyrics, because again, osmosis, once you listen to something over and over again, you, it, it grows on you. It grows on you. you. You remember the lyrics. So you don't understand what's going on. But once you get those lyrics and you go through them, then bam, you will understand everything like right away without any effort because you've been listening to it so many times. So I would do that as a beginner. Listen to a song over and over and then get the lyrics go through it and then choose another song and do the same thing again this is what i'm going to do okay so um yeah that's pretty much um dang i i hope i cover everything yeah so music music you music and uh movies so definitely this is something that i tend to use more and um it, also like culture like you learn things about the culture like you know you some cultural things again contextual um, you learn things through context um, that you can apply when you meet these natives in, 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 in person you know it's really good to learn things in context so 
um, yeah, that is it. Let me wrap this video up. I think I covered everything. I tried to take some notes here and uh, stay on point. But um, yeah, that is the video. Um, or this is the response to that video I made regarding uh, utilizing music and um, movies to learn your language, your target language. Now, before I uh, sign off here, I want to mention something else regarding questions of the week. Um, I was doing something in a similar fashion. Uh, what I want to do is... Um, I want to have you guys, uh, like during the week or the weekend, you, you ask certain questions. And I, obviously, I'm not going to be able to get to everyone's question. Um, I'm going to have to choose one question each week. So ask me a question, and then I'll I'll uh, make a video. I'll do it like how I was doing it before. Someone will ask me a question, and I'll mention their name. Say, oh, such and such person asked this question. If you don't want me to mention your name, you know, just tell me that you, you were rather... Uh, remain anonymous anonymous so how I want to do this is um, is I want to have you guys go over to my website and I'll show you I'm gonna make a transitional part of the video and I'll show you how uh, this should be done so that is it for this part of the video um, let me know if you guys have any questions otherwise thanks for viewing and um, guys have a great one all right folks uh, so when you get to the website you, you're going to see these tabs at the top, home, home, languages, free videos, tutoring, blog, contact, etc. And what I'm, gonna, what I'm going to need you to do for these questions is come to contact. We are, we are already on the contact page. And once you get here, scroll down and you will see this contact form. So whatever question you have, put it here. And um, the subject of your question and here's your name, your email. You don't necessarily have to put your email unless you, I mean, if you want, you can. Um, let me see, but definitely your name, uh, unless you would rather re remain <coughs> anonymous. Um, but yeah, it's that simple. Just put your question here in the subject and your name and your email if you want. So that is it. And, uh, look forward to these questions for the future. Thanks for viewing.